Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alex here. Everybody wants more power on their serve, right? Well, what are we gonna do to get more power? We're gonna try and have better balance when we serve, okay? Because a lot of times most players who are not getting enough power on their serve, the reason why is that that kinetic chain that they're building to bring up to the ball, well, when you're off balance, you're kind of leaking a little bit of, that, of energy left and right through that chain to compensate for your balance. So there's less energy, boom, that's being delivered into the ball, okay? So what's a good way to work on your balance and to check and see if you have good balance, all right? I'll give you a little warm-up exercise for it first before we get into the main one. Here's your warm-up. Who can do this? Stand on one foot, rack it behind your head right here, kind of like that trophy position, and do this and back, and do that, and back, and here, and back, all right? I just did three, maybe see if you can do anywhere from like 10 to 20 in a row right there, okay? What are you aiming for? You're aiming to get a good straight line all the way from the head of the racket down to your toes, okay? And holding your balance on just that left foot. And if you can do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just hit a regular serve where you jump up, as a right-handed player, you're gonna land on that left foot, and you're gonna see if you can hold your balance just for a couple seconds at the end of that serve. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you see how we hit a serve, and in the end, you hold that balance for just a little bit. Your right foot's gonna be up. It can go way up there. Okay, I've seen pictures thinking Gael Monfils, I'm thinking Maria Sharapova, I'm thinking John Isner. I've seen pictures of them with their foot is actually higher than their head, okay? You don't need to go that far if you're more of a beginner player or intermediate. Even some advanced players are not gonna go that far if you don't have the flexibility or the range of motion to do that. But anyway, the more counterbalance you get here, the more you can accelerate with your arm without losing balance and therefore getting maximum power in your serve. Okay, if I don't do this counterweight here with my back foot, what happens? Well, if I do this, right, I get kind of pulled over like that. You can try and serve that way too. You'll see you have a lot of power, but no control, all right? And in tennis, that's what we need. We need to, we need to marry those two things, maximum power without losing control. So if you do this exercise, you're gonna find a way that you're gonna get a maximum acceleration on your serve without losing balance, and maximum acceleration of the racket will equal maximum power on the serve, okay? Last little tip for you, look, if you're already a pretty advanced player and you can do this pretty easily, okay? Take out a little resistance band and do it with the band, all right? Get that around your ankles and you can do the same thing. You can practice this motion with the resistance band at first, okay, and then you can do the full motion. I'll do a little demonstration of that one for you too, just so you see what I mean, in case there's any confusion. Right, so we got the band around the ankles right here. All right, and so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start right over here. First, get my balance in check for good starters. All right, and I'm just gonna go boom, back, boom, back, boom, back, boom. That one already right there should keep you a little busy for a while, because that's not that easy to do, especially if you're already just struggling with maybe keeping your balance by standing on just one leg. Well, it's gonna be harder to stand on one leg and do a movement too. But again, this is more for advanced level players, okay? Let me show you what it looks like hitting a serve with the resistance band around the ankles. All right, so you can see with the band, my foot doesn't go as far or as high, of course, it's being held back by the resistance band, but you can do it with a resistance band and still hold your balance in the end. All right, so try that one. See if you get more power on your serve. Let me know if it works for you, even if it doesn't. Maybe there's some other area that we can help you get some power in. And uh, we'll go from there, all right? Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.